This is Breakfast Daily on CCTV. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now we're going to talk about nutrition. And today we'll be looking at healthy bones and our nutrition. We need to ensure that our bones are strong. But how do we make sure we eat the right things to keep them strong and healthy? I have been joined by Akosia Konedu Yadom, who is State Registered Nutritionist. And of course, throughout the conversation, let us know what you're thinking as well with the hashtag Breakfast Daily and our supply Zero five five zero five eight five eight three two. Good morning, Akushia. Good morning, Jifa. How are you? <clears throat> I'm fine yourself. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Now, healthy bones. How important is it? Hmm. Um, everything about our body is important, and we know that um, bones are, are are part of our makeup. Jifa, you are able to stand. You are able to move because there is something supporting the muscles. There is something supporting what, the, the flesh or the meat we find on our bodies and we have 206 bones wow. yes so jifa you have 206 i have 206 so it means that bone or the bone uh, uh, bones are of, of 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 importance to us as individuals and we need to make sure that we are protecting these 206 bones it can be different for babies um, babies can have up to even 270 you think they are too tiny so how come they have it but as we grow as babies grow some of the bones um, fuse together and become bigger bones like ah, the femur okay. or the thigh bone okay. you, you it's, it's it's the largest ah. bone in in the human body so as we age or oh, a newborn baby's bones may be a lot more than a full-blown adult because you need uh, there should be that fusion mm. for for other bones to come together to make one bone yes okay. and as we're getting older how important is it for us to be conscious of the state of our bones nutrition is critical for everybody and once there is bones in you it is very important that you pay attention to to, to your nutrition as far as your bone health is concerned because nutrition affects the eye. Nutrition affects from head to toe. So definitely it is very critical that we all pay attention to um, our health or our bone health as far as nutrition is concerned. Yes, you need to pay much attention when you are aging because as a child with the bones uh, coming together to make bigger bones is something sometimes nature will take care of it because it's a god thing and you're yes. malleable at that yes. stage as well so once we are aging ex an, an example of a bone condition is osteoporosis which mm -hmm. affects a lot of women after they've hit their menopausal age yes you need to make sure that certain things are done mm -hmm. especially enhancement or you being supplemented just to make sure that you are protected, especially if you have osteoporosis. You can have bone cancer. You can mm -hmm. have, yes, um, 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 uh, low density as far as um, bone strength is concerned. So the quality and how den uh, the density of, of, of bones will need to be improved on. And like you said, as we age, certain activities, wh what we do, where we find ourselves can affect how our body is able to absorb some of the nutrients our bones will need, especially when you are in Ghana. You experience vitamin D. So for Ghana... Which is from the sunlight. Yes, from the sunlight. That is direct from the sunlight. But of course, we have vitamin D rich foods also. But if you find yourself outside... Um, Ghana, sometimes it's difficult for us to be exposed to the sun. In Ghana, there are people who don't even see the sun, the morning sun, because they leave the house very early. They enter their office before, sometimes before 7 p.m., like yourself. 7 a.m. I'm sorry, 7 a.m. And so may and not see yes and they are indoors they are leaving sometimes 6 6 30 and there is no sunlight so how important is it for people to actually say i'm going to take 10 minutes out of my day to just walk around and get some sunlight that's how it should be done because vitamin d from the sun it's it's like the pure the purest form of vitamin d because when there is a deficit then uh, um, we need to make up for the pitfalls by supplementing or mm -hmm. Yes, because how many times can I eat some of these foods to make sure I'm getting everything my body will need after starving my body of vitamin D or direct sunlight for a month, for a week? Yes. So will I put everything in, in one bowl or a plate and take it at a go? 
But once we know that there is a problem, Jifa will not be able to, to make it as far as getting the direct sunlight is concerned. Then we have to step in by supplementing. But you don't do it on your own. Everything we speak about here, you have to make sure you seek professional um, 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 counsel or advice before you go on with any other thing. Okay. Now let's look at the nutrition. We want to have healthy, strong bones. Where do we start from? Okay, so it starts with a balanced diet, and um, you, you can't talk about nutrition without talking about a balanced diet. We are eating, and nutrition is we is the nutrient. So, what is in that food I am eating, and what is that 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 nutrient doing to my body? Yes, for bones, we need vitamin D, we need calcium, mm -hmm. we need magnesium. Yes, and we need vitamin K too. They mm -hmm. all have amazing benefits. Like calcium is is is, is the building block of, of, of our bone. Our, our bone has a strength um, with calcium. So an example. Awesome. So, so we have calcium. Calcium rich, rich foods. foods. And uh, of course, I would, I would bear with me. I'll ask you to give me the local substitutes yes, yes. of some of the foods that we might not have in Ghana. So the first one is cherries. I'm seeing cherries. Uh, cherries, cherries helps help with, with your, help nervous, with your nervous, system. nervous system. And we know that. What would be a good substitute for cherries? Okay, so what I would say is that um, even planning a meal, I wouldn't even use 20 from just the calcium family. Ah, okay. So pick what you can find. Okay. Because if you are taking the cherries off the earth, there's somebody also here who can easily find cherries. That's so true. work with what, what you have. You have to, like yes. the watermelon. Yes, watermelon is common to find. Okay, so uh, watermelon banana. is good for control. The heart, your heart rate. rate. Yes, yeah, so your heart the rates. bones. The reason why some of the benefits, other benefits are found here is mm -hmm. because bones are part of Every part, our, every of, part of our body. So definitely, once you are doing it right, you are serving other organs to mm. some, some, some goodness. And watermelon is easy to find. It controls your heart rate. We have oranges or the citric family. Mm -hmm. And then it helps with great skin and vision. Nice. Obviously, your skull has bones. And so yeah. definitely it will affect some of the organs. Banana is also good for energy. So mm. for athletes, I think this topic will, will, will be something we need to pay attention to if you are an athlete because you lose you use a lot of your your, your muscles and your bones mm -hmm. pineapple helps fight arthritis and we know That's that really sometimes good. when it comes to bones arthritis is something that 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 comes to play mm -hmm. and so pineapple being a star fruit can be found anywhere mangoes. in ghana mangoes so work with what you, you find we have kiwis you have blueberry whatever works for you mm -hmm. whatever you can find it is it, 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 good and it helps to maintain muscle nice. it helps and apples apples yes. help your body develop resistance against infections apple 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 is very very good yeah. yes um uh, there is even something to take home so i'm sure nice. before so we get, we'll get there an later. apple okay. yes what it can do for you yes okay. so that is it and then we have um calcium rich um food food okay, another so another part so maybe there. if i will save you, you. Can, you can substitute granos for almonds thank you so much um what is this I'm a, okay greens yes let's, let's speak about what you we can have so the green leafy it. your the phonium, green leafy vegetables your, your, yeah. work for the okay. vegetable side you um, have kidney baked beans. beans you can get your regular black eyed peas that we have on our market for that um whole wheat bread okay yes. let's stop eating all that Whole meal you know, bread. Fat, 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 fat bread. So, you know, wholemeal bread is really, really good. And wheat is good as well, right? Yes. Uh, there's chickpeas here. Of course, you can substitute anything in the, in the beans family for that. Kidney beans, oranges, soy milk. Yeah, I've, I've actually had like tiger nut milk. They are great as well if you, if yeah. you want more plant based options. But then you can also go for regular milk. Um, yeah, greens. The leafy lots and green lots and lots of greens here. The green leafy vegetables. So whatever you find, if you want Control to know what, what you find there. Uh, is, uh, you, yes. All those goodies. So that the home garden, so you realize that they get direct sunlight. Mm. Yes, those plants sometimes, yeah. especially we, those who love to eat the contemporary from our garden, we, mm -hmm. those who love to have a bit of vegetables in your uh, home gardens. Yeah. Yes, the, the exposure is there. So green leafy vegetables, wherever you find yourself, whatever is available, make do with it. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So we have, um, apart and from the calcium. we get from, so let's look at the first batch that we, the, the fruits. Um, how often do we consume them? I know you always say drink oranges in moderation. 
Is there such a thing as have your, your bones are too strong because you're consuming too much of these things? It means your bones are healthy. We can't say that your bones are too strong. At the end of the day, that's what we are looking for. Okay. So if your bones are healthy, I, I, I'm yet to come across here, your bones are too strong. Yes, your bones are healthy. So we are, that is what we want to achieve. And so we have to make sure we are doing everything right to set us right. And you spoke about retaking oranges. Mm -hmm. If you One orange a day is okay. Two you don't need ten. It's okay. Ten means that overdose. It's just like the same thing. That's what they pick clues uh, from to make some of these medications. Mm -hmm. When you go beyond thousand, so one is equivalent to let's say eighty to hundred. Yes, as far as the nutrient makeup of um, 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 an orange is concerned. So if you are taking ten, it means that you are going overdose. And I don't know. Can you take ten oranges, Zifa? possible it's possible yeah. please don't it's take just, 10 oranges orange. like, don't if you take squeeze it, in it a is cup, not food you'll just get a, so a whole... what i advocate for is for you to finish the whole fruit okay so ah, take okay. the not rind off the juice. so take the rind of the seed off and then make sure you are taking the chaff because the fiber as yes well. because our you know our body we 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 work it's it's like a team mm -hmm. this is supposed to do this but you are getting this also out of it so you are not serving your body just some calcium mm -hmm. but you are also guarding against constipation i think it's works better yes. yes you don't have to go and treat constipation you serving yourself with um, nutrients mm -hmm. from the citric family you are also working mm -hmm. on this also so we're spoken about the calcium mm -hmm. foods for healthy and strong bones mm -hmm. we have um, 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 what do you call it the vitamin d um, rich foods too mm -hmm. and then we have the magnesium rich okay. food because it's also good for where do we get magnesium from overall it's okay so the some of these foods possesses um, minerals and vitamins and you okay. realize that our method of cooking sometimes Will, will strain kind of out. yes strain some of these wonderful nutrients from what we are taking yes okay. and so once you are taking some of these foods we we saw on our screen once you are taking some of this um, um like we said we spoke about the calcium rich foods we spoke about uh, vitamin d rich foods can we have the vitamin d rich foods if um, um, um the image is ready so that we can we can zoom into it and answer the first question okay, okay so, so we have the vitamin, vitamin d, d rich food rich cereal mm -hmm. i love the fact that it's cereal so whatever you find around yourself especially the fortified ones like um conflicts mm -hmm. yes or uh, our morning I cereals say every day the, the the package products are actually not good for i us. am not saying everything is bad Jifa. Okay. there is uh, there is there are brands i wouldn't eat or take as far as some of these um, conflicts are concerned but so, is there like an all-natural substitute Definitely, we cereal. have a lot of cereals um, okay. here in our, our country. Um, millet. Uh, millet and okay. sorghum. Okay, so it's we a can do It's a cereal meal. Okay. Yes, we have whole milk. Ajifa, you are now on high for this <laughs> whole, whole, whole stuff. Thank you so much for being more than me. Okay, oatmeal. We have mm -hmm. beef or liver. The, okay. uh, the liver from beef, that's cow. Mm -hmm. And then we have orange juice. We have oyster eggs, goat cheese, mushroom. We have a whole lot of shrimps, cod mm -hmm. liver, we have sardines, we have um, a whole lot. So whatever you can find here mm. as far as our list are concerned and more, this is supposed to guide you. Yes, so if you can see um, X here, if, if you can see, let's say, X from hen, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes, and you have something from guinea fowl. It's the same. It's still, thing. It's still, it's still eggs. Benefits. So you can, there are people who take duck, um, eggs from duck. So yeah. you, whatever eggs you can find will work for you. So okay. this is what it is. Make sure they are part of your meal. Let me say that because sometimes when you say calcium rich foods, people, I don't know, you'll be tempted to kind of let everything sit on your plate with calcium. calcium. But once it's a balanced diet, it will ensure that you have a bit of everything in it okay. because you can't be taking just leafy green vegetables because for some reasons you are in your menopausal age and you have osteoporosis and so you'd want to enhance on your calcium store so you keep taking one thing or the other so, so walk us through the average meal that would have a bit of vitamin d a bit of calcium and a bit of magnesium so that we know that at least half of my plate is going toward you know making my bone strong 
Okay, so it's the everyday meal we spoke about. Breakfast, you can decide to have oatmeal because we saw oat in yes. there. And then you have um, wholemeal bread, okay. which will pass for the calcium and then vitamin D. Have a bit of milk in there. Mm -hmm. There's 40 to 50 meal. It's 40 ideally, but mm -hmm. there are some people who would want more. So sometimes I am just lenient. Then you, have, you add sugar, sugar to taste. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so a cube too, depending on what you, you want. But make sure that you are not eating sugar mm -hmm. because you are supposed to enjoy the cereal and not just the sugar mm -hmm. so you have to add to taste then that that will be passed for breakfast mm -hmm. and we know that in our part of the world sometimes it's difficult satisfying everything as far as the four-star diet mm -hmm. is concerned at a meal so we try to spread it over the 24-hour record that mm -hmm. is after bringing together everything you've had in 24 hours it should satisfy all your the, nutritional needs yes as far as the four star diet is concerned okay. so for your snack i can decide to go for an apple or mm -hmm. an orange or two oranges and then wait for my lunch my lunch i can decide to go for palm nut soup with let's say um, 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 a bit of liver okay. yes in there a, a, a twist of fish just to just add on a bit of everything mm -hmm. and then go with fufu like mm -hmm. you said yes then for my next snack before my dinner or my supper i can decide to go in for uh, seven of watermelon that is two of the sardine oh, size that. equivalent Yes, but we are basing, we are focusing on the example we had the age. How about that's millet? Yes, it's okay. And it's yes. cereal. It, it, no? it, yes, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Jifa. Yeah, it's I'm fine. Attention. But having it as a cereal, <laughs> that is, that, uh, having it as a as snack, a snack. That, okay. that, that, that's that a is meal. heavy. Okay, let's say that, okay, Jifa, you had to, um, 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 for some reason, you had to probably delay as far as taking your 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 lunch is concerned then it can come in for your snack moment let's say ideally pair our meal plans or our plans drawn yes we have to take and um, you have to take your lunch by one but for some reasons you were so busy and so it's going to shift your lunch to somewhere 2 or 2 30 then for your snack at least i would want you to have something that will be a bit loaded so that it can compensate ah. for for your body's needs okay. so that you can still go in for your lunch not for you to skip but at least it's supposed to cushion you so there you can have your fura but you can have two sardine ten size of um, watermelon so mm -hmm. what do women do as a fa as a matter of fact they're cutting how they cut that's one seven for you yeah. but let's say if i feel too big to go and stand there and buy what Miller one city or two cities, so I am guiding you just take two sardine tin sides of it time. and you are fine to go. Then you wait for your dinner. If you want to have a bowl of important potter that is filled with goodness, you have a bit of shrimps in there, you've mm -hmm. twisted it, there is mushroom in there, you have a bit of vegetables pumped into it. Nutrition is your own style, so you add whatever mm -hmm. you feel like adding. At the end of the day, with everything I've spoken about, it is satisfying the, the four-star diet, and it's also satisfying your need as far as your, 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 your bone health is concerned, because you remember, you can clearly um, testify to the fact that I chipped in some of these examples spoken about in there. So you wouldn't just take care of your bone health, you've also taken care of your body's true need as far as nutrition is concerned for the day. Yes, yeah, so you just have to also watch out because I spoke about the fact that um, um, liver was good and calcium, uh, vitamin D foods coming together because we want to also make sure that we are serving our bodies some goodness as far as our bone health is concerned. But that same calcium rich foods, for example, milk and the beef mm -hmm. may cause issues, especially if you have issues with your iron levels. Yeah, so it, it, is, it might, come down it might are, inhibit mm -hmm. the absorption of iron. iron. So in our quest to make sure our bone is healthy, we should also do it right so that we don't end up suppressing the iron, the, the that, we iron that we also need that's why you sometimes you think it's easy but it can be very technical so you need to sometimes or most of the time seek professional counsel on how best to work on this because in your quest to make sure you have a healthy bone you find you've done something wrong to your body as well as far as your iron stores and you need iron to yes and you need blood. iron too okay Thank you very much, Akusia Kuneri Yado, for being with us. Thank Where do you follow you on social media? Okay, on, on Instagram, it's um, Nutritionist A Akusia. And then on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Nutrition Akusia. Nutritionist, sorry, Akusia. Okay, and where do we contact you? Okay, 0243-350206. Thank you so much, Akusia Kuneri Yado. Thank Stay you for having me. Nutritionist will be with us. And of course...
keep in mind that it's important. You need calcium for your bones, but you don't want to overdo it to a point where they actually inhibit the iron that you also need. So if you need to get more clarity, just see a professional on the portions you need so you stay healthy. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The City Tube. For exclusive Breakfast Daily content and other City TV programs. Like, comment, and share with your friends.